um, we could easily be talking here for more, uh, two hours more, but unfortunately you have a flight to catch. Uh, so I'll end with my last uh, question, which wasn't really the last, it had to be the last. A group of intellectuals and artists, among them uh, Ken Loach and Alice Walker and, and Roger Waters, has asked you to refuse the prize due to the Israeli occupation and the unjust treatment of the Jerusalem municipality of its Palestinian inhabitants. There are voices in the Israeli left that express the same argument. What is your answer to these allegations? Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> Let me put it simply. I, I hope to, to be as clear, as simple and as, as I can. I don't see the connection between criticism of many some or many policies of the state of Israel, the Israeli government, and receiving a prize in Israel. And because I don't see a necessary connection between what a government does or what the members of the, of the establishment do and the whole of the people. If you boycott a whole country, you are denying the people their right to, to diversity. I don't want my own country to be stereotyped. When, when my, my government, when the Spanish government in 2003 uh, foolishly decided to join George Bush's war, I was against that war and, and millions of Spaniards were against that war. So we didn't feel represented by that government. We didn't need to be included. We, we, there was no, no reason to include all of us in the decision of our government. But the main point is, there is, an, and, I, and I understand, and I can be as critical as the next man of every uh, any policy. No? The point is, you cannot, you cannot uh, boycott a country which is a democracy and an open society. Because, because the harshest criticism of some unfair or unjust or cruel policies of Israel is being done openly and courageously inside Israel. So, when I was, I had never, 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 believe me, had any doubt whatsoever, any misgivings about coming to, to receive the prize. It was a no-brainer for me. Because I know many Israelis, I read Israeli writers, and I know that here there are many people who are like me, and if they are not like me, they have every right to be like they are as anyone in any normal country. Hmm? So, it is, it is legitimate and it is normal and it is perfectly right to be in, in Europe, in Western Europe, safe from, from any dangers and to hold the high moral ground concerning the rights, the, the legitimate rights of the Palestinians or whatever. It is, it is legitimate. But at the same time, it's rather easy. I mean, what right do you have to hold a higher moral ground in Europe? What right do you have to look down on people in this country? when so many people in this country with physical danger because this is a country which is unsafe with the danger of confronting their own co-citizens 
so many people so bravely are so critical. Huh? It is, if you are an intellectual, uh, so called, uh, you are in, in Madrid or in London, no? and you see that some injustice is being committed, it is easy for you, it is legitimate, but at the same time it's easy for you, there is no danger, there is no risk. Because you know that there is an audience that will receive your response in the right way. I see more courage, much as I saw, I saw more, more courage in, in Spain. I'll, I'll give you an example, a clear example. In Spain, as you may know, we suffered for many, for many years a terrible terrorist organization. They killed uh, almost 1,000 people over 20 years. No? Uh, all types of people, policemen, military personnel, children, journalists, whatever. Many, many, they killed many people. No? And many people thought, outside Spain, many people thought that these murderers were freedom fighters. Because this is romantic. No? You are in Oslo, or you are in a university department in, in New England, no? enjoy your tenure, and you think that far away, in a faraway country in the north of Spain, which you figure out as something like, like the Kurdistan or something, there are these brave freedom fighters no? struggling against a, 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 a nominous power, no? a nominous government who try to, to stamp themselves then and who try to, to oppress themselves. No? And, and, and you feel it is so self-fulfilling. No? So you don't want to pay attention to the fact that if you pay more care attention, if you, if you look at things more closely, these supposed freedom fighters have a higher income, a higher level uh, of income than those they are killing. You don't want to learn that the past country, for example, rather than an isolated and poor and, and backwater oppressed by Spain, is the richest, one of the richest regions in the European Union. No? So it is so easy, it is so easy to judge from afar. It is so easy. Yesterday I mentioned something that that uh, Dickens said. No? Dickens told about something called telescopic philanthropy. No? You feel you feel you you feel full of love for people far away, no? very far away, and, and because you idealize them. And coming back to my point, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that these things have to be, these obvious things have to be said in a democracy, in an open society, where so many people can help openly and without danger their opinions. There is no reason for someone either to boycott this country or for coming to this country to patronize the citizen and explaining them what is going on in their own country. Because if there is something significant and peculiar about this country, is the level of the information and of the public debate. So I was I was completely convinced that I had to, to come first. Second, I had no I didn't have to give explanations or justify myself. And, and, and third, once I've been here and I once I've met people and spoken with them and, and seen things with my own eyes, I'm, I'm glad I have come. And I'm not trying to bother to you or to flatter you or whatever in gratitude for, for the way you, you are treating me. No? This is what I think. This is what I honestly think.
so much. Uh, if I have to thank you for two things, I thank you for your art. That has been a very important part of my life and of these readers' life. And thank you for your sincerity.